his choice, right? I recognized and, and realized that my short stint of being there, I, I easily became the most hated um, panelist or guest that's on the show, right? Um, it's to a point where I can be completely right on a topic and cook. People still, you know, say I got cook or call me out my name. You're hearing me. But it is all good, though, because at the end of the day, uh, the takes that these guys on Player's Choice be ha having, bro, you just might as well change the name to Player's Choice to Casual's Choice. You hear me? Um, I, I literally exposed Damo's logic. I cooked this man. You hear me? And people still saying that I got cooked. When this man, Damo, had one of the worst logic on talking about describing what is a number one is in the NBA that I've ever heard, bro. I ever heard. This man take was trash. It was garbage, bro. But if you look in the comment section, you got people agreeing with this nigga because they hate me, man. Like, look, I I love haters. You hear me? You ain't doing nothing if you ain't got haters. You hear me? I've been getting hated all my whole life. You hear me? But if I know a person that I hate, first of all, I don't hate nobody, right? If I know a person that I don't like and he's cooking somebody else, bro, I'm going to give the boy props. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give the boy props, right? This is the second time with Player's Choice edit clips trying to make me feel like I'm the bad guy or don't, or don't you know, put the full clip out there of me exposing Damo's logic, right? I want us to take a listen to what this man Damo said. And I'm, I'm just going to break it down and, and just break it down in pieces of why his logic was stupid and why I easily cooked this man, bro. And I don't even want to pat on the back for cooking him because it was just easy work. Y'all take a listen. Was the best player on that team? And they obviously, they possibly could have won true. that year. That, mm -hmm. Okay. Jimmy Butler was the best player on that team. No, and that was their best not. chance of winning. Okay, Mookie, cool. Anyway, like I was saying, there are... So, Damo lied already talking about Jimmy Butler was the best player on the 76ers uh, when he came there. He is a lie. Joel Embiid was the best player on the Philadelphia 76ers. They ran the offense through Joel Embiid, right? Uh, he was the vocal point catalyst on that offense as well. He took the most shots as well, right? I'm not going to sit there and say that Jimmy Butler, who played for the team for, what, four or five months has automatically became better than Joel Embiid, bro. Because nobody will sit there and say that Jimmy Butler was better than Joel Embiid 18 and 19. So that's another casual take, bro. Very few true number ones in the league, in my opinion. That's how. Mm -hmm. That's when I say, if I say a guy's number two, that's just a number two on the team winning a championship, not getting there. Jimmy Butler just got to the finals. I don't think he's. I don't think he's a number one anymore. I think he's a number two now. If you want to win a championship with Jimmy mm -hmm. Butler, you're gonna need a player. Better than Jimmy Butler, 1A, 1B at the very least. I don't think he's going to be the best player on the team that's going to win. There are plenty mm. of number twos that can get you to a finals because there's a lot of good number twos in the league. That's why mm. so few number actual ones. You can get to the finals with two number twos. The Celtics have done it. We've seen plenty of players get to the finals. But mm. to win it, to actually win, you got to be a number one. Or you got to have a number one. That's just can how you give me an example, Dom? This, this, this logic is stupid, bro. So Dom was basically trying to explain to the people, right? That to be considered a number one in the NBA, you have to win as the number one, which is crazy because he just sat there and said that to be considered a number one, you have to win a championship, right? And this is why the logic is stupid because um, that means LeBron James ain't become a number one since, what, 2012 when he won his first ever championship. That's saying that Michael Jordan, who made deep postseason runs with the Chicago Bulls, ain't come a, a number one until 1991, right? Hakeem Olajuwon, as a rookie, was the best player on the Houston Rockets team, right? Led that team to the uh, NBA Finals, right? Um, he ain't become a number one until, what, 94, right? I mean, his logic is stupid in his – is so inconsistent because he's a LeBron fan, right? And when he makes or says that the reason why LeBron James the GOAT and he don't bring up this winning bias he's trying to do to actually um, 
you know, bring out the point of why a player should be a number one. It, it's just crazy, right? LeBron James is your GOAT. He is your GOAT. Why is he your GOAT? Not because he won more, because if you talk about all this winning, that means you would have guys like Michael Jordan, Kareem, or Bill Russell as your GOAT, right? He don't talk like this, bro. That's when you know the nigga is just straight talking out his ass. He talking out his ass, bro. That is not a definition of a number one. To sit there and say there's only four number ones in the league, that is absolutely crazy, bro. There's multiple number ones in the league. And when I look at number ones, I'm looking at it. You can be the vocal point of a, a team that's being ran through you, right? You carry the, the heavy load by you being the best player on the team. And you can do that. That can impact your team and make it to, to the playoffs or making it deep postseason runs to the conference finals or NBA finals. It's not about winning. That, that is stupid logic, right? So this is why he's about to cook himself when he's about to name the players that are number one. Y'all take a listen. Oh, can uh, you give me an example uh, of number one? one. Uh, Steph, two number one. Uh, two uh, number hold one. up right quick, Moki. You got Steph, it right after this. Mm-hmm. Steph, Braun, Giannis, mm-hmm. Jokic. Oh, my gosh. Man. Oh, my goodness. First of all, to sit there and say that LeBron James today is still a number one, you're just a casual. You're just a casual. LeBron James cannot be the best player on a championship team, right, and be able to make deep postseason runs. That's him being the best player on the team, a contending team, right, and them winning. He's not. Anthony Davis is the best player on the team. And Damo sat there and said that three to four months ago before the playoffs start because we had a show on, on PC, right? And he even conceded to the fact that Anthony Davis was the best player on the team. So how the fuck can LeBron James be the number one uh, number one option on a championship team when Anthony Davis is the number one option on a team that LeBron James is in, right? And Anthony Davis is the anchor on the defense, and he's the vocal point of who you got to go through the offense for the Lakers to win. What is Damo's talking about? Damo's logic is inconsistent. It's stupid, bro. And according to his logic, bro, that means Nikola Jokic didn't come a number one until, what, a couple of months ago? What? That is stupid, bro. Right? I believe there's a lot of players that Damo's missing that could become a number one um, on, a, a, on a team that can actually contend and, and make it to the playoffs and make deep posts to run. Guys like Luka Doncic, Jimmy Butler, um, uh, Damian Lillard, right? Um, you put the right roster around him. Um, who else that I'm missing? Anthony Davis. Uh, who else? Um, there, there's Joel Embiid, right? Uh, Luka Doncic, right? Many other players that could be a number one on a team that could contend and make deep postseason runs. What the fuck? Right? Don't let hear this shit, man. Those are the only th- only four true number ones so right why? now. Where How about the- Leonard? I don't think he's that number no more. Are we talking about right now he, or just he, in what? general? Just today. He was. Just, today. Oh, just, today. just today? No. Mm-hmm. He, he's not anymore. He's this, not this, anymore. This, this, he's- see, this, this is why this is so stupid, right? Oh, yeah, and I forgot the name Kevin Durant. Um, this is why it's so stupid, right? To sit there and say that Kawhi is not a number one no more. But then say that LeBron James is still a number one today. It, it just, it just, it just crazy. It's just biasness, right? LeBron James has missed games. LeBron James has been out with a foot injury, right? Um, he's been missing games left to right, right? Uh, LeBron James, ladies and gentlemen, uh, hasn't played throughout the full totality of a regular season, right? So he has not been available for his team, just like the standards that he holds for Kawhi Leonard as well, right? And the impact that LeBron James showed by playing these games is having been a higher impact than Anthony Davis. That's why Anthony Davis is the best player on the goddamn team. So to sit there and say Kawhi is not a number one, no more, and then still say LeBron James is still a number one, he's a fanboy, bro. He's a fanboy. He's a fanboy. He doesn't play enough. He doesn't play enough. Oh he's not God, healthy so enough stupid. to be a number one. This, this, this is so stupid. First of all. Okay. And this is why I hate, and I and I said this on my little Twitter the other day. I hate when casuals, right, people that ain't never played sport, 
people that ain't never been in no athletic physical competition, right? Where it's a risk that you can sit up, suffer significant injuries. I hate when couch potato judge athletes and sit there and say that uh, they don't want to play the game or um, they will blame them for getting injured. Like that's something that I don't do because when you play the sport, you know that injuries is something that you just can't control, right? There's so many players that athletic enough, athletic gifted enough, they're in shape, they're healthy, right? And they still get injured, right? To sit there and say or knock somebody off or literally just blame them for him not being healthy, right? That's something that I just don't do, right? Yes, Kawhi's missed games. Yes, Kawhi's not been healthy. But you cannot sit there and tell me that when he's playing basketball, Kawhi Leonard still today is good enough to be a number one on a championship caliber contending team, bro. What are we talking about, bro? What are we doing? What is wrong with, bro? And y'all think this nigga cooking? Stop it. Kawhi is good enough to be a number one. And Bede is good enough to be a number one. To sit there and say Joel Embiid is not good enough to be a number one is crazy. When this man has been putting up historical numbers as the best player on a, on a, on a team that was, what, a top three, top four seed in the Eastern Conference, putting up some numbers that we have seen since peak prime Shaq, putting up some great MVP caliber season as well, right? But once again, when you have a guy like Damo who – sit there and blame players for being injured, right? When that's something that they can't control, I can't get along with that, duh. I can't. So part of him be not playing to his standard in the postseason is partially got to, or mostly got to do with injuries. It is what it is. But when it's players that he like, it's context to be thrown. When LeBron James got swept – and underperform against the Denver Nuggets, you got this nigga on the panel crying, about to rip his T-shirt out, a loss of thousand dollars, right? And say all oh, LeBron's foot was hurt, man. Stop it, bro. Uh, yeah, you, your yeah. logic is your logic is number one inconsistent. I don't know what you sit there and name those guys as number ones, but you forgot Kawhi Leonard, who actually was the best player. Right now, I, was, I said right now, so. Movie. so uh, what what, what wait, championship wait, did he wait, win wait, in the last three years? Last four years, what championship yeah, did he win? Why. So if if if, if Damo's doing that right, and he and he's talking about the championship that somebody won in the last three years, then how the fuck is LeBron James in his list for players that could be number one? He cooked himself. The last, if you look at the last players that won a championship in the last three years, it was Jokic, Steph Curry, and it was Giannis Antetokounmpo, bro. Damo, you're cooked, nigga. So if you want to just strictly measure it for over the last three years, LeBron James can't be in that list because he ain't win a championship for over the last three years. He missed the playoffs. He missed a play-in tournament, right? And he got swept in the Western Conference Final. He didn't win no championship as the number one. And on top of that, that ring that he won in the last four years in the bubble, right? LeBron James was not the best player on the team. It was Anthony Davis. He was the vocal point of the team. He was the number one. This nigga Damo is easy work. But he cooked me, guys. This is why it's stupid logic because at the end of the day, that's like sitting there saying that oh Michael Jordan was was in a number one uh, for the for the last what three three or four or five years he's been in the NBA to what ninety one when he won the championship. We all know when you watch Michael Jordan play, yeah. he was a guy that you know that he 
he can't be a best player on the championship team. That's like sitting there saying Luka Doncic. We know that Luka, Luka Doncic, if you put a right support cast, he can make a deep postseason run to the goddamn finals in the championship, ladies and gentlemen, right? If you put the right support cast on it, that's like sitting there saying he's not good enough to be a, a number one on, on the championship team. It, it just What's the right support broken. cast? Put no. I answer you. Uh, when Luka Doncic had a cohesive def defensive unit, and when they got um, Jason Kidd, um, and also when Jalen Brunson uh, blossomed to that player that um, we all know he can be as that solidified second option, and the way that he was able to elevate his game in a postseason setting, right? Um, the Dallas Mavericks was a top 10 defensive unit, right? And it was one of the league's best offense. And that year, 2021 to 2022, Luka Doncic was able to, as a first option, as a number one, was able to make a deep postseason run to the conference finals. What the fuck? And he beat it, the number one seed, Phoenix Suns, right? A team that was more talented than his, right? And this dumbass nigga Damo sitting there saying that this nigga Luka Doncic is not good enough to be a number one. Hey, man. And y'all say he cooked me, bro. Get out of here, thug. Comparable role players around them to actually. The, like the who? Give me the team. Got me a postseason. Mm -hmm. Give me the team, Mookie. Because he had the best, off set, the, bro, yeah, he had the best offense we've ever He had one of the best offenses in history, and he still didn't make it to the finals. So. What? Oh, uh, let me cook you on that point. He said he had the best offense in, in NBA history and still haven't made it to the uh, conference finals or finals. First of all, put context to it. The years that Dallas was what? Uh, number one in NBA history for uh, NBA offensive efficiency, right? Who did they run into? They ran into the lost end of this Clippers with Kawhi and Paul George, bro, in the bubble in, in 2021. And took Kawhi Leonard to have – it took Kawhi Leonard in the first round in 2021 to shoot 60, 40, 90, and average 30 to beat that team with Luka Doncic, bro. Somebody that you said is not a number one. And their defense was not that good, bro. You easy work, Damo. Easy work. Yeah, it's yeah, the comparable you, team yeah, around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But you, but you got to understand that his number two in KP wasn't showing up in the got me on postseason as well. You got to understand that the Dallas Mavericks that year in 2021 had a, a bottom. Uh, they was a middle in the pack defense. They was a top 20 defense in the got me on NBA. So it wasn't no good defensive unit as well, right? So we're not, we not talking about that. And when we talk about Joel B situation, right, I won't sit there and say a guy that's putting up a historical MVP season, the regular right. season, right? And we know that what in the postseason, we know that this number two has been incomparable. To sit there and say Joel Embiid is not good enough to be a number one, it's just crazy, bro. It's just crazy. So when what I'm is saying, he showing this, you to show that he could be a number one on the finals on the finals winning team? Under, he's been your, underperforming your in every hold playoff hold on, hold on, for the past what? Oh, three, four. Oh. This, this, this is this. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, it's hard to listen to this stuff, bro. But uh. What has he shown you that he could be a number one? Uh, carry a Philadelphia 76ers team for the, over the last three, four, five years with poor spacing to uh, the playoffs consistently, doing that by having all-star, all-NBA caliber seasons. What the fuck? Right? And like I said, he's using this winning bias argument, something that he argued when he does this LeBron and Jordan debate. is just crazy. Right? Um <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like I said, bro, it's it's stupid, bro. Let, no, you were talking while I was talking. So I'm doing the same thing to you. Talk. But go ahead, go I ahead. I let you talk, bro. I let you talk. I let you. Falls off in the regular season to the postseason last I three let years. You get off that bullshit that you were spewing, bro. Number one, your logic is inconsistent. You just want to argue Kawhi. If I said Kawhi, you would have been loving it. I just didn't say Kawhi. It's not a. It's not me saying. It's not me being mad. You didn't say Kawhi. When I knew you didn't, when I knew you said didn't say Kawhi, I knew your list was trash. But I was just mad at the other players, Luca and B, uh, you know, KD, um, you know, Dane, Jimmy, um, you know, many other players that was left off on this list. It's not be me being mad about leaving off uh, AD 
Uh, it's not me being mad about leaving off Kawhi. So, yeah, you cooked in. Uh, he proven to win a championship as the number one guy, right? That's true. That's facts, right? So, How many players like are hurt on the other team? Like a, you like mean an Astro Green, like right? Like the ring with the big Astro going. Like like the ring that's. He said the ring with the big Astro going, right? Mind you, that Clay Thompson played, what, four games, three quarters that whole entire series. Kawhi played the original Warriors, right? And they were still down 3 1, right? So you, you, you cooked in. And he's talking about playing injured teams in the NBA Finals. So let's assess the four players that you have as the number ones, right? Steph Curry uh, played an injured Cavaliers team in the NBA Finals as well, right? And um, leading up to the postseason, right? He played injured uh, teams as well, right? Um, when we talk about the KD Warriors, right? We talk about 2018. We talk about um, his run in 2021 uh, 22, where he faced the injured Grizzlies teams as well, right? And in the NBA Finals, his best player, I mean, uh, the opposing team best player, Jason Tatum, had a hand injury, nigga. So you cooked in. When we talk about LeBron James, LeBron James faced an injured Miami Heat team in the bubble in the finals. Bam Adebayo was hurt, right? Jordan Drodic was hurt. Barely play, He didn't even play that much in that series as well, right? And he was the best player of the, uh, on the Miami Heat in the goddamn uh, bubble as well, right? He was the leading scorer, right? Uh, Nikola Jokic, he faced an a injured Miami Heat team. Uh, wasn't they out their second? I mean, wasn't they out their third best player in Tyler Hero? Did he play in the goddamn finals? No. Giannis Antetokounmpo wasn't Chris Paul had a hand injury in the NBA Finals, right? And he was hurt, right? Then Giannis Antetokounmpo faced an injured Nets team, right? Then Giannis Antetokounmpo team faced the injured Hawks team. Yes, Giannis was hurt as well, but he didn't even lead that team to the finals. Uh, Chris Middleton and goddamn Brooke Lopez closed that zone out. What are we talking about, bro? Like, man, you easy work, dog.